channel. Happy New Year's. I have done a video already this year, but I obviously wanted to say Happy New Year's to you guys. And I wanted to um, break down Shades of Cute Gloss today. In level nine, I'm going to be doing a breakdown of the level nine toners. I work in a wrecking base salon and I was bored one day and I wanted to do a video for you guys. Um, since you guys love these type of videos, I figured why not do a breakdown for you. So you can't really use these toners if you're a darker or if you, you are in the orange zone where your hair is looking orange. It has to be light. If your hair is not past that orange stage your hair is not the inside of the banana do not even bother using these toners these toners are supposed to help you neutralize your hair cut down brass and make your hair um, more on the ashy side more neutral side so let's get started i found a mannequin in the back of our salon and decided i was just going to play with it and then um work on these level nine toners that i wanted to show you in shades of cube now the mannequin has a dark brown hair and had wanted to mix them up for them to be light so I used Wrecking Flash Lift with Foley Volume. This is a mannequin mind you and so even if I was going to be lifting somebody whose hair is brown I might not necessarily start from 40 Volume using a 40 Volume developer because the person's hair might be compromised. Since it's for mannequin I decided to lift the mannequin up really really light as light as I could with 40 Volume and I wanted to lift it fast that's why I used this um, bleach and developer. Now, as you can see, it, the mannequin is processing. Uh, I wanted it to process really fast um, so I can hurry up and add the toners before I got a client. And so what I did was I um, went in there and I started like trying to make sure that I spread out all the bleach and developer mixture all the way in the hair, saturate every part because I wanted every part to kind of be light so that this experiment will be um, very effective. So I went in there trying to make sure spread the hair out trying to get all the parts to be as light as possible Sometimes when you bleach in hair and you don't go in there and make sure that you super saturate Sometimes you don't get it all saturated and you get some dark spots in it So I was trying to avoid all these dark spots and also get the hair to process really quickly It's a mannequin hair. It's not human. So it probably wouldn't do some of the things that a human hair would do so I just went in went in there and made sure that I saturated as much as possible to ensure that all of the lightener it's in there and it's getting light. You can see as I'm turning it up, the hair is getting lighter and lighter from the brown, original brown that it had. And I was trying to get it to be as light as possible. I also decided that to make it lift a little bit faster, I was going to um, use a plastic cut to, um, to speed up the processing and give it a little bit more heat so that my mannequin can start processing quickly. So this is my mixture. I had 9NA, 9NIV, 9T, 9B, and 9P, and I used the processing solution from Sh Shades EQ, um, Reckon Shades EQ. Is My mixing ratio for each toner to processing solution was 1 is to 1. For each bowl that had a toner in it, I measured out 1 ounce of toner, and then I mixed it up with 1 ounce of processing solution. I also bleached out and had my... Um, mannequin head sit for about 40 to 50 minutes so that I can get it to have the maximum amount of lightener so that I'll be able to apply these level 9 toners on it.
Night and a is a color that a lot of people are scared to use in the salon. Our furnace first came out. When you even look online, people were kind of like, I don't know how it's going to end up turning. It's so strong. It eliminates a lot of brass. And if it's broken down in background colors, if you're a wrecking stylist or you work in a wrecking based salon, wrecking has background colors. And the background color of 9NA is black to gray and then a blue violet base. Now, black to gray is basically blue. And a blue violet, the violet is red um, plus blue. So when you're breaking it down into the color wheel colors, it's have it has three blues and one red three cool colors and one warm color so it's a straight up like toner that has a lot of blue in it so if you put a straight na like i did a straight na on the mannequins here i pretty much got a, a murky green type of color and that's exactly what you're going to do when you put it you're going to get when you put it on uh, a client's hair so be very careful when you're using and a make sure you have enough violet in it and IV in it and maybe not you to use too much of it otherwise you're going to end up having that greenish tint even though it cuts up a whole lot of brass if you don't take care you're going to have a murky green color that you don't like and that's pretty much displayed on the mannequin head um it turned sort of greenish murky color so it's a great toner but ensure that you are not using it a whole lot and make sure you also balance it with an IV. 9N has a brown to tan base background. Um, the brown colors are the regular basic um, blue, yellow, and red. And also the tan base is a blue. And then it's a violet, which is a red and a blue. So it has three warm color, three more warm colors in it, and then three cool colors in it. So it's very neutral. And when you put it in somebody's hair, they are neither too cool or too warm it's a basic neutral color that you can put on somebody's hair and so when you look at the um, application on also the mannequin hair it's a very neutral color it's not too warm and it's not too cool and it's perfect for people who just kind of want to have a nice natural blonde now let's talk 9v my camera died so let's just continue from here on my phone so let's talk 9v 9v is straight up red plus violet and uh, red plus blue in the color wheel red plus blue so it's pretty much a straight violet that you are depositing on somebody's hair so when you bleach somebody's hair and they end up being that yellow inside of the banana and you're trying to eliminate the yellow you put 9v on it because violet eliminates yellow right but when you put 9v straight on somebody's hair while it's eliminating the yellow it is depositing this lavender lavender tint on it so even on my mannequin hair you notice that it ends up turning a little purplish or light lavender that's kind of what you would get with a straight 9v so most people will balance their shades of cute formulas by adding an end to it or some other formulas other toners to it to help um, give them the type of end result they are looking for if they are trying to go a little bit warmer or they're trying to go cooler based on, the, I guess, the, the end result of what they want their canvas to look like. So when you put a straight 9V on it like I did uh, on the hair, after it's bleached, you would get that lavender-ish tonation on the hair, just like it happened on my mannequin. 9T. 9T has a grayish base, silver blue background in it. So when you put 90 on somebody's hair, you are more so looking to get a more of that silverish, grayish, uh, titaniumish type and result. So people who are trying to get like more of the grayish type of color, like I would say the T18 type colorish look that people are always most of the most of the time people are looking to get um, that little really ashy, really uh, grayish tonation this is the color you'll be using because it has a lot of blue in it and it kind of gives you that grayish silver base and and end result now when you put 90 straight on hair that's being bleached um to a level nine or even 10 you definitely get that and, and some people just kind of like their hair to look look grayish and you know the dark grayish silver which is fine but if that's not what you're looking for and you put a straight 90 on somebody's hair, you might just not like like that end result of that grayish um, tonation. So mainly people who are trying to be really ashy, 
um, really, really ashy, light blonde, even past inside of the yellow, uh, inside of the banana platinum colors. 90 is a very good toner to use to put on the canvas because it will give you that outcome that you're looking for. So I guess I will compare it to the Wallet T18, kind of like what people kind of want to see. But mind you, you put a 90 on hair that's not light enough, you're not going to get that gray color. You might get something that's even more brassier because that's not what it's, it's meant to do. It's supposed to be put on hair that's light enough or platinum hair hair that has been bleached high enough and it's almost like the yellowish whitish stage so that you can actually see that titaniumish grayish tonation that you're looking for 9b is straight up blue so when you put in 9b on hair that has been lifted up fairly light to level 9 you should be seeing some type of bluish tint on your formula um on your canvas or maybe even like blue plus Yellow is what green, like we talked that we talked about earlier. So you'll be seeing mainly a bluish tint on the hair, just like you've seen on my mannequin's hair. It kind of turned, it started turning blue as soon as I put it on there. Um, it's a straight up blue, so it will give you more of a bluish. But sometimes when the hair has all this yellow in it, it might even kick it into the more like greenish state, bluish greenish state that you don't want to see. So again, you'll be adding 9B to your formula when you want to kick out extra brass in it, but it might not necessarily be the only toner that you would do. So you might be adding it to some of the other toners that you formulate to put on somebody's head to kick out extra brass. So 9B is straight up blue. So when you put it on somebody's head, be careful if you're not looking for the end result of a blue tonation. Let's talk 9P. 9P is a very pretty color. It has a gray base and also has a blue violet base. Um, the gray base is pretty much blue and then it also has the um, blue violet where the violet is red and blue. So when you put it together, it has three cool colors and one warm color, which is the red. And when you put it on somebody's hair, of course, it's going to move your um, canvas more into the cooler side. And so people who kind of want to look icy blonde a little bit more of a grayish icy type blonde colors you'll be looking at 9p 9p kind of also get darker on you because it has that grayish base the bluish base in it and so it's a very nice color when you mix it up with some of the other tones that we've mentioned before like a 9n and 9t to to balance out your formula and make you look make you have a very uh very nice icy type blonde so 9P is a very nice color. Um, even put straight on somebody's hair with clear can give you a very beautiful um, blonde. And so um, like I said before, these colors that I have talked about is more of moving people more into the cooler side. And if you kind of wanted to balance any of these colors out and making it a little bit warmer, you just be adding a little bit more of the warmer tones to it. But mostly these colors are supposed to help you combat brass and bring the person out of a more warm tonation into a more cooler place where most clients like to lie at. I put everything together in one shot because I wanted for you to see all the different toners that I apply to the mannequin head so you can make your own informed decision as to which toner you're going to use for what scenario. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I did too because as much as I've used these toners a lot in the salon, I have not necessarily used them straight by itself. As stylists, we are creative and we like to mix these different tones together and not necessarily put them straight on people's hair. Every once in a while, we might do it straight, but sometimes you just really want to balance out your tones and your tonation in people's hair and not make them look completely too golden or not completely too ashy. So depending on what you're going for is what you do. But these tone, these toners that I discussed today are, more, are mainly for help, mainly to help with cutting out brass and hair, nine level nine brass cutters and Shazy Q gloss. Um, ensure that when you are mixing these um, toners, you mix them with a processing solution from Reckon Shazy Q. They work really well together. I know there's some stylists that end up using different um, developers to um, ba balance out their um, blondes, which is fine, but I suggest that you use them together because it's made for it. Also, um, if your hair is not lifted light enough, there's no point in using these level nine toners. It will not work. I know people think that because they are made for lighter blondes and it makes your hair ashy, you achieve an ashy color 
or ashy end result if your hair is orange. If your hair is dark like me and you bleach it or even darker than mine and you bleach it and it's not up to the inside of a banana or lighter, these toners are not gonna work for you. There's no point in even putting it in your hair. It is made for hair that's in the level nine zone, which is really light, has been bleached out light. And even my mannequin that I bleached for this video, I don't necessarily think that she was light enough like I would have wanted her to be light, but it's a mannequin hair. Sometimes you can't push some of these mannequin hair past saying color unless you bleach twice. I did not have time in the salon to do that. So I bleached it once and it got light enough that you could see some of the um, end result tonation in my, in my mannequin. And that's kind of what I wanted to show in this video so you can see how these level 9 brass cutters work on hair that has been pre-lightened pre to this level 9 um, state. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know what other videos you want to see. Um, sometime last year, I kind of drifted, drifted off a little bit. So I guess we can start going strong again and maybe give you guys a little bit more of these videos or maybe that's a brand that you kind of want to see me do a video on. Let's talk about it. Um, let's engage and I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel.